epic legal battle brewing over the extradition of Julian Assange. Should he should he stay or should he go? Uh, that's what the Britons the Brits are talking about, man. So uh what's his name? Jeremy Colbin has chirped in too. We'll take a look. So AP is reporting. Best time in the world. There is no better time than right now to support independent media. Become a Patreon or go to eBay and buy some stickers. These are the classics, Marcus Conti classics. And these are Marcus Conti uh, newbies, new ones. These are the modern. Modern and uh, buy both. They're going to be collector's items because independent media is exploding. Right? So let's have a look, right? So also become a Patreon. So yeah, you, go, you go to the channel. Here's the beautiful channel full of beautiful informative videos. And you hit the Patreon right there. And then you become a Patreon. You become part of Sparta. You become a Spartan. We're trying to get this number up to 300. 300 strong Spartans. Spartans, what is your occupation? Huh. <laughs> like the greatest scene in the world. Right? So let's do that. Right? So let's find out what's going on here. So here we are in England. In England, <clears throat> stage set for epic extradition fight over WikiLeaks's Assange. Ah, St. Julian. They made him into a martyr. Holy St. Julian. <laughs> he looks happy. Right? So, in London, what is, ex- what is expected to be an epic legal and political battle over whether to extradite Julian Assange to the U.S. began to take shape, with Britain's opposition leader party urging the government Friday not to hand the WikiLeaks founder over to the Americans. Ah, Britain going to bat for Julian Assange. Big turning point. Big, big, that's big news. Right? Party leader Jeremy Corbyn tweeted that the U.S. is uh, prosecuting Assange because he exposed, quote, evidence of atrocities in Iraq and Afghanistan. Diane Albert, Diane Abbott, Labor's spokeswoman for domestic affairs, said, the case is about, quote, the embarrassment of the things he's revealed about the American military and security services. Wow, they're going to that for Julian Assange, right? I'll, I'll play, I'll, I have those tweets. We'll take a look at in a second. On Thursday, British authorities dragged the 47-year-old Af- uh, Australian native from the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he had been taking refuge for seven years. And U.S. authorities announced charges against him of conspiring to break into a Pentagon computer. It's a, it's a, it's a, a wild allegation. A wild allegation upon further investigation. It doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up. He was a publisher, not a whistleblower. The public, publicization of the case reflects the clashing views of Assange as either a heroic whistleblower standing up to the mighty United States or a willing stooge who helped the Russians boost Donald Trump's presidential campaign by publishing emails that embarrassed his rival, Hillary Clinton. It's the former. It's the former. That was a a side note, the uh, 2016 election. All the other, all the real juicy stuff about exposing military corruption was in 2010, 2011. The battle to fend off extradition could take years. Wow. The battle to fend off extradition could take years and involve several layers of appeal. Assange could also face a second extradition request if Sweden decides to pursue a rape case against him that was uh, dropped in 2017 when he was told when he was holed up in the embassy beyond the reach of the law. Hmm. His arrest became possible after Ecuador. Uh, revoked his political asylum, complaining, among other things, that he was a messy and disruptive house guest. If found guilty of U.S. charges, Assange could face five years in prison. His next court appearance was set for May 2nd via a prison video link. So, um, so the point of it is, let's 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 just let's just. Oh, what WikiLeaks. And we should recall what WikiLeaks actually disclosed. Who can forget the Pentagon video footage of a a missile attack in 2007 in Iraq which killed 18 civilians and two Reuters journalists? It is the monumental amount of leaks such as this that lifted the veil on US-led military operation in a variety of theatres, none of which 
has produced a favorable outcome from the people of those countries. What the part of that video that you don't see is that is that the, those Iraqis they get into a van, and then you hear the you hear the helicopter guys order to start shooting at the van, and they blow the van up, full of people, kids, whoever they don't even know who it is, and uh, Chelsea Manning has has um, alluded to the fact that it was just it was just target practice. Julian Assange is not being pursued to protect U.S. national security. He is being pursued because he has exposed wrongdoing by U.S. administrations and their military forces. So you would never hear that because we have a corrupt media. You don't hear that on the, on the mainstream media. Right? That is the problem. Right? And right now, mainstream media is saying, oh, no, no, Julian Assange, is he a publisher? Is he a whistleblower? Should we take a side? Shouldn't we take a side? Where publishers him? He's a rogue. He's nothing, right? That's what they're doing, right? Rather than look at the atrocities of what he exposed, which was the initial atrocity of, of uh, war crimes, and then later election rigging in, our, in the United States of America, where, where they were, where the Democratic Party is saying, yeah, 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 free and fair elections and, and the American way. Meanwhile, they're cheating, cheating and screwing uh, uh, one candidate and selecting the other. So the extradition of Julian Assange to the U.S. for exposing evidence of atrocities in Iraq and Afghanistan should be opposed by the British government. That's Jeremy Corbyn speaking. Uh, what else can we find out about this? So uh, uh, extradition lawyer Ben Keith said the court will not assess the evidence against Assange to determine his guilt or innocence, but will scrutinize whether the offense he is accused of in the U.S. would be a crime in Britain. Hmm. Is it a crime in Britain? I, I don't know. It depends on who's you know, accusing you of the crime. If it's the United States accusing you of the crime, then Britain is, Britain will say, shit, sure, yeah, okay, right? That's, that's probably what will happen. Quote, the most likely outcome is that he will be extradited to the United States, said this lawyer. Britain is bound by law not to extradite a suspect to a country where he or she could face execution for the crime, but that's not the case here. Well, that's not really true because once Assange steps foot on U.S. soil, they could up the ante and start piling on other charges. Uh, and when we enter into espionage, then there is there could be the death penalty. Uh, so, so that's not really true. Uh, Ecuador's President uh, Lenin Morano stressed that he revoked Assange's asylum, that he had received assurance from Great Britain that Assange would not be exposed to capital punishment. Well, Great Britain can't guarantee that. Only the United States can guarantee that because Great Britain isn't going to ex execute him, but the United States very well could. This is the fear. Right? If Sweden also makes an extradition request, it would be up to Britain's home, home security to determine which would take priority. Typically, the first request made, in this case the U.S., would be, the act, would, would be acted on first. But officials have some leeway, uh, Keith said. That's generally how it happens. First, he'll, he'll face is whatever a bail jumping, the sentence for bail jumping in England is. Once that, once that uh, sentence expires, whether it's 30 days or time served or nothing at all, and then he gets handed to the next contestant in line, whoever's lining up to get him, which would be the U.S., and then at that point, Assange would, would appeal that decision. And as I said, it could take years, years to get it done. Uh, if Assange loses his extradition court, he could appeal several times and ultimately try to have his case heard at the European Court of Human Rights. So that's all I wanted to say about that, is that uh, Assange could, this is not going to happen next month, right? It's not going to happen in the next election cycle, it looks like. Or maybe even the election cycle after that. So Assange is does does it mean that Assange gets held in 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 custody for a crime he didn't commit? It looks like that, right? That's what it seems. They're not going to let him go because why? Then he's a quote flight risk. Is he going to run? I'd fucking hell yeah, He'd probably run. So he becomes a flight risk. Maybe house arrest. Maybe kind of what he has. Maybe wearing a bracelet where he stays in the confines of. A certain area, who knows, right? But the fact is that it's going to take 
years to get him into the U.S. So, so don't get too don't get too happy about having Assange and and all the deep dark secrets of WikiLeaks revealed. He's still in he's still in a bad place, right? Unless the political climate keeps changing, and and as as the um, as the uh, good um, attorney in this review said, if Britain determines that. Assange didn't break a law that the Brits see as a law being broken, then they could drop it. They could, they could, they can um, not succumb to U.S. pressure to extradite Julian Assange. Marcus Conte reporting.